I'll read two poems. Rejoinder. On a late evening, a boy dressed in creased pajamas walks home with his mother. She weaves his frail hand into hers, and in a silence that can be heard, they stride under the dance of the moon. Tomorrow the child will be pulled away again from his bed tucking, bundled into new clothes and sent back to the crash with a rucksack to be bathed, cleaned and fed. His mother would merge into the traffic of the morning stream, returning after a thousand hours of travel and a 14-hour work shift. The invisible tread between mother and son would grow easy, each expecting no more from the other. The son from the crash or the mother from the world that grows larger and longer in front of them. And one slightly longer, perhaps, prose poem called Baby. We don't want the sound of that baby in our audio. It has to be clear with the instructor's voice. Otherwise, it's a bug. Whose baby is it? The voiceovers, the voiceover woman's? Didn't we tell you to hire a non-babied woman? Redo this, without the crying and the suckling. No, the expense is on you. You blundered or just don't pay the woman. This is not a crash, daycare or school. This is a corporation. Don't fuss about your maternity. What does it mean to be tired around the eighth month of pregnancy? Where's your woman's liberation these days? Equal pay for equal work. <coughs> no, we can't grant that holiday. No, you don't deserve that promotion. You were not even working this year. You were on sick leave. That's not how our vis vision and mission functions. Shut up that crying baby. We need a cute baby, a brand mascot, someone that can smile at the cameras. We are targeting new mothers with our new product. We want to keep them happy. Find me a smiling mother and a smiling baby. Put our product near them. This is how the banner will read in tomorrow's papers. We love new mothers. We are doing a research on what they want from their <coughs> lives, motherhood, their babies. We spent a good many dollars on this survey. But please shut up that baby in the background. It's sheer noise. No one can work at this rate. We don't recruit women who are getting married. Soon they will want an uninter unplanned interruption. Then another. We only cover one-time maternity. Why do fathers need paternity leave? Do they get pregnant? Have you seen the population? But what about our consumer statistics? We need new babies to try out our rattles, medicines, insurance, clothing, pampers. Babies are growing up fast these days. Wow. <laughs>